This series tends to be, at least in the public mind, Air Jordan against the Magic Man. There's no question, you're not going to avoid the Magic Michael thing. Oh, they're calling it the Dream Series, Magic versus Michael. I know that, that you know, the whole team's involved, but it's just, that's the way it's going to be played. You can blame L.A. for this, right? <laughs> well, it's a big media hype. We know that. And uh, it's very important for me as a player, and one of the main focal points is to not take away from the team. À l'approche de leur finale contre les Lakers, les Bulls doivent affronter la furie des médias. No, I don't, I don't see myself getting into butterflies. Oh, I have butterflies now. It won't bother me. I mean, this is the chance of the lifetime. Page two is first, Bandit. Two by the pin on seven. Southify. Beat LA! Bulls T-shirt! Les Bulls abordent leur première finale avec émotion et fébrilité. Pendant que Chicago essaie d'oublier son appréhension, les Lakers, plus expérimentés, prennent l'avantage grâce à la lucidité offensive de Magic Johnson. 6.50 to go in the first period. Great inside pass entry from Magic to Worthy who lays it in off the window. Dictant le rythme, les Lakers mènent rapidement et neutralisent les Bulls. Stuck in neutral. Now we gotta go out first stop this time and start playing basketball. Now get your confidence back. Be aggressive. Get up, get up! Scotty on the move, now to Jordan in for the right for the wall! Imitant Jordan, les Bulls se réveillent. Force les Lakers à jouer en transition et reviennent en force dans le match. Ne menant plus que d'un point, les Lakers se tournent de nouveau vers Magic, qui frappe une fois, puis deux. Magic fires a three. Johnson has taken over with two three-pointers in the last minute and a half of the third period. Jordan lui donne la réplique. But he n'est pas seul. Don't leave Michael Lord here. It's not time yet. That's right. You got to run away from your offense. Don't run away from your offense. Une fois de plus, les Bulls se regroupent autour de Jordan. Stolen by Armstrong, ahead to Jordan. Back to Armstrong, now to Michael for the pin. He good play, BJ spectacular. With the Lakers, l'avance des Lakers est en fondu. Les deux camps se préparent pour la joute finale. The magic is saying, calm down, calm down. Magic with the spin, the pass off the dribble of Divas. What a play, Magic Johnson. Jordan guarded by Scott. Jordan. Turns in the lane, gets the shot up. Good. Oh, yes, on. yes! Scott. The Bulls come out of there with it. Jordan wants to run down the left side. Pull up jumper. Goal! We got the lead. They got to score. Make them shoot a jump shot to get right. Oh, boy. This is what coaches get paid for. Good stop, good stop. Jordan 
rattled and, uh, you know, and it came out. I just knew Michael Shaw was going in when I seen it. It was on target. It was up high enough. I was like, this is it. it rattled in and rattled out. I was like, oh, my gosh. A lot of distractions. Uh, we're going to have to, you know, it's something LA has gone through and learned you know, to deal with before we, we haven't had to do that. We're going to have to learn in a hurry. We're going to win the series. There's no question about it. This is singularly the biggest game of the 25 year NBA history of the Bulls franchise. We felt like we were unbeatable, but, you know, they, they pulled us wrong, and now we got to go back to the drawing board and come up with something new. Los Angeles Lakers are in the catbird seat after lifting the home court advantage from the Bulls. You get to this point, and they will drown you. Flat drown you. You go down like you live tonight, okay? Take this game, let's uh, wrestle it out of their grasp and go around. Right, let's, let's go! Let's go! All right. All right. Uh, Only two teams have ever lost the first two games of the finals and come back to win a championship. Well, we know we got to win. I don't think it, you should panic, because when you panic, you really don't play your best basketball. We've been in a situation a lot. And, uh, we just about know what we have to do in those situations. So we're used to it. The Chicago Bulls admit that this is the biggest game the basketball line. They felt they had that time because we were nervous, we, we lost that composure, and they thought that the nervousness and, and the tentativeness would be there again, but it wasn't. Led by a determined... Guidé par un Jordan conquérant, les Bulls montrent d'emblée que le premier match est un lointain souvenir. Just kind of running the show, distributing the basketball. What a pass from Jordan. Jordan says sir to Horace Grant. Horace Grant. Who came out deep point au premier carton. Here's Grant. I got embarrassed in the first game, and I just took it upon myself to take it to him in the, the next game. The Bulls. Les Bulls ont élevé leur niveau de jeu, mais les Lakers sont coriaces. Malgré l'attaque bien huilée des Bulls, le match change soudain de tournure. Le meilleur défenseur des Bulls, pris en faute, est obligé de passer le flambeau. C'est Pippen qui va tenter de contenir la légende vivante des Lakers. Scotty Pippen. To have the opportunity to play against a guy like Magic, someone that I always idolized and watched, you know, I felt like that I had to step up and put all that behind and go up and do my best. Notice the matchup with Pippen on Magic, a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, able to bump, be physical with Magic. Pippen. Et Pippen est tout fort. Magic jugule l'attaque des Lakers. Les Bulls prennent alors la maîtrise des airs. Emmené par un Jordan transcendé, Chicago s'enflamme et montre l'étendue de ses talents. When he came down the lane, he just, you know, went one way, put it in one hand, floated a, about, a, about a five more yards, said, well, I don't know, and then he went off against the glass. So it was his game tonight. He really took it over in the second half. The only thing is, no matter if you get beat by one or 20, it's still 1-1. One, one. The Lakers. Les Lakers restent confiants en revenant dans leur royaume enchanté pour le troisième match. For game three. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the Magic Kingdom, California. Magic! Magic! 
Les Bulls doivent remporter au moins un match dans ce forum de champions. Malgré ses échecs précédents, Chicago ignore la pression. Le début de match se résume à un échange de peignets. Dans ce duel décisif, Chicago sait que l'artillerie lourde va bientôt entrer en action. Mais aucune équipe ne cède du terrain. Bien que Chicago garde un petit point d'avance à la mi-temps, l'équipe est handicapée par des fautes et doit ajuster son jeu. La stratégie gagnante du deuxième match joue à présent pour les Lakers, qui, en passant à l'intérieur pour Divats, marque 18 points au troisième carton. Ils prennent 13 points d'avance, laissant les Bulls dubitatifs. Cliff Livingston communique son énergie aux Bulls et Chicago revient courageusement dans le match. Les Bulls renversent la vapeur. Après presque quatre cartons d'une lutte épique, le match reste indécis et on attend encore les héros du jour. Dans les dernières secondes, Vladi Divac se pose en heureux candidat. Le panier de Divac donne deux points d'avance à Los Angeles. Et une sixième faute à Scotty Pippen. C'est au tour de Michael Jordan de reprendre la lutte pour se racheter. Jordan sauve la mise à toute son équipe. When he shot, it was like we're winning this. Yeah, we went over time. We're winning this. There was no doubt about it. The Bulls have continued the assault of the Lakers. Michael comes away with it. Cliff Levingston took the charge, and there was no foul call. Paxson shot from the left is in. The Lakers had the experience and the advantage of the terrain. 
Michael spins out. But the Billy Bulls have a Jordan. A spectacular play by Jordan. This is a bitter loss for the Lakers because of Ellie. And il mène à présent cette finale. Downstairs, Mike Dunleavy, the Lakers coach, is breaking it down. Well, we're in a ditch. Not in the hole, we're in a ditch. Supposedly, according to some of the coaches, they were out, they practiced for a solid hour and a half on the floor. We play them, we squeeze them a little bit, make them work extra hard. If things don't work out, communicate with each other out there on the floor. We'd have to be ready for this storm because uh, these, these guys are too good to be let off the hook. L'orage surgit avec violence. Mais les Bulls sont prêts à se battre. Pour les Lakers, la victoire est capitale. Et leur agressivité le démontre. Les Bulls, tout aussi déterminés, maltraitent furieusement les panneaux. Intensifiant leur effort, ils repoussent peu à peu l'orage des Lakers. Menant de 9 points à la mi-temps, les Bulls restent concentrés. L'assaut ne tarde pas. Le barrage offensif de Chicago tient les Lakers à distance. Johnson ne peut empêcher une nouvelle attaque. L'offensive est incessante. Et soudain, Chicago se retrouve pratiquement à une victoire du titre NBA. You know, the thing about it is that I, I can't feel bad because they've just given us a nice butt kicking. Les Bulls commencent à rêver à la victoire. You know, you've, you've worked all this time uh, uh, to achieve the goal, and I think that when you first get in the league, uh, all your goals are more individual. As you've been in the league a little longer, uh, you understand that the most important thing is the team. And, uh, and your credibility uh, is measured by your team's success. And uh, winning an NBA championship is obviously the ultimate. Let's go, let's go. That's what we work for all season long, guys. Let's take it home. You ready? Yeah, I got a lot of excitement inside of me. I, I guess I've been holding for about seven years now. I think uh, when I first came with the Bulls, it was a struggle. And we had to turn the whole situation around. Each year, we, we saw improvement. We saw the different levels that we had to get to. And now to this ultimate level. After 25. Même privé de James Worthy et de Byron Scott, les Lakers n'ont pas l'intention de céder le titre aux Bulls. For the Bulls coronation. Comme dans toute la finale, les Bulls réagissent aussitôt. Face à des Lakers frustrés, les Bulls prennent le large. Oh, what a shot by 
Bill Conroy. There's a steal. Michael on the breakaway. Showtime as he skies into the air. And Aaron Jordan throws it down. You're getting, a fair, you're getting a fair shake. Just stay in here. You never know. Los Angeles appels son bon à la rescousse. Mais les Bulls ne lâchent rien. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. And here come the Bulls on a three-on-two. Pippen off the hesitation dribble. A spectacular end-to-end move. Avec l'énergie du désespoir, les Lakers tentent une ultime offensive. La confiance de Chicago reste pourtant inébranlable. Le moment est venu pour les Bulls de conclure leur course au titre. Les Lakers impuissants les regardent filer vers la victoire. Le but pour lequel Chicago a tant travaillé est enfin à sa portée. Cette victoire touche profondément chaque joueur. Which guys are one mind and they are one effort. That is really the, the wonderful thing about ball. They have grown up. Ensemble, ils ont mûri. And as John Paxson, après l'ultime peigne de John Paxson, ils they savent qu'ils viennent d'entrer dans l'histoire. A part of history. A part of. Comme une grande équipe, merveilleusement soudée. Of each other. Each player understands what his role is. Uh, it's all a, a process of, of being together and understanding each other and enjoying playing with, with everyone. I've, I mean, this group, we have a, a great bond between us. Start to say the words, folks. The world champion, Chicago Bulls. Excuse me. This is my dream to Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. Après un dur parcours en playoffs, les Bulls atteignent la finale avec soulagement. Et 
Mais ce sont les Blazers qui démarrent en trombe. Chicago trouve son rythme grâce à Michael Jordan, qui répond au pilonnage des Blazers. Avec sa nouvelle arme, Jordan s'approprie le match. Aucune défense n'est capable de stopper une telle avalanche de tirs. Jordan inflige six peignets à trois points aux Blazers. Les fans de Chicago ont été témoins d'un exploit spectaculaire qui se conclut en seconde mi-temps. Le héros du jour est évidemment Michael Jordan. I started running for that three-point line. I felt a great rhythm. It felt like a free throw, really, you know, from that distance. You know, the only thing you can just sit back and, uh, and say, ah, and wow, and ooh, and, you know, just like a little kid out there, you know. Everything he threw up, he hit. He was hot, and uh, we all knew it. He knew it, and he just uh, was going to go out there. I don't think he was going to miss from two, from three, or from half court range, and uh, he just had that feeling. There's a lot of series where a game is goes like this the first game, the second game is totally different. It better be different. <laughs> Les Trailblazers comptent bien se relancer au deuxième match. Leur stratégie est claire. Dès que Jordan touche la balle, il est assailli par les Blazers. Portland gonflé à bloc veut faire plier les Bulls en les busculant. Jordan lance l'attaque des Blues grâce à ses passes décisives. La défense de Portland est désorientée.
Au quatrième carton, Jordan prend lui-même l'offensive. Et avec 10 points d'avance, les Bulls semblent souverains. Les Blazers ne renoncent pas pour autant. More difficult than it seemed. Jordan s'énerve et c'est Portland qui s'enflamme. Revigoré, Portland revient en force dans le match, à la grande stupéfaction des Bulls. Ayant perdu leur avance, les Bulls se tournent vers Jordan. Contre toute attente, les Bulls ont perdu la maîtrise du match. Même la prolongation n'y fait rien. Mené par Danny Ainge, Portland arrache la victoire et l'avantage du terrain. It's a great game. We had every opportunity to win it, and I'm sure we're going to look back and uh, you know rue this a little bit tomorrow, tonight. Uh, I think they gave they gained a little bit of momentum from the uh, the technical foul that I received, and uh, that from that point on, it just kind of went downhill. This was just a little hard to take because you know we just really gave it away. After Friday's stirring come from behind overtime win, Portland has achieved what most experts said they needed to split the first two in Chicago and come home even. Big concern by many people, Bulls' ability to bounce back after the devastating loss in game number two. Do they have enough time to get themselves straightened out? The Blazers are going to smoke those Bulls! The Portland Trail Blazers are 8 and 0 in this building in the playoffs. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or Sybil or whatever, boy, you just don't know which Bulls team is going to show up for which game. It's not going to be the guy who scores the most points going to win this series. It's the team who's going to win the series. The best team is going to win the series. The best team is us. I look for Portland to win the next game easily, Joe. We built a circle around ourselves and said, we're going to stay in this circle. And no matter what goes on outside of this circle, We're not concerned with it. It was our time to really go out and shine and open up this series the way we should have did, the way we wanted to do. Dans l'antre de Portland, Chicago prend rapidement les devants et montre aux Blazers que le deuxième match est oublié. À leur tour, les Blazers haussent le ton. Oh, 
les Bulls parviennent à conserver une petite avance et le match se transforme en bataille de stratège. Au quatrième carton, les Bulls s'accrochent à leur avance. Mais Portland prépare une ultime offensive. Now the Blazers trying to poise themselves to make a run. And the crowd comes pumping back to life because of the comeback made by the Blazers in game two. The Bulls know this team can come back. Over to Ainge. Ainge fakes a three-pointer. Gets to the foul line. Puts it up. Fills it with the right hand. Game up the front of the rim. Rebound. Williams. Long lead past the Drexler. Now there's Kersey who fumbles. Gets it back. And lays it in with a reverse layup. Dans ce match crucial, les Bulls vont puiser leur force en eux et dans leur groupe. Cette fois-ci, ils ne fléchiront pas. Ils sont prêts. En préparant le quatrième match, les Bulls sont à nouveau détendus. La pression est sur Portland et Chicago est content de souffler un peu. Les Bulls prennent l'avantage et maintiennent leur cadence. Marquant à volonté contre les Blazers, les Bulls pensent avoir match gagné. Mais leur confiance vire peu à peu à la nonchalance. Incapables de retrouver leur rythme, les Bulls peinent subitement. Usé, les Bulls lâchent la bride, tandis que Portland commence à sentir l'odeur du sang. La faute sur Jerome Kersey électrise les Blazers. Les Bulls ont alors une terrible impression de déjà vu. Blazers executing flawlessly now and the Bulls out of sync. Underneath Horace 
goes up, blocked by Cliff Robinson, and Robinson tears it out of there. Great defensive play by Robinson. Oh, and the balls have become unraveled here. Michael Jordan thought he had time to... You get in the championship round, you're, you're playing over 100 games in eight and a half months. It's a, it's a grind. You know, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, we'll try to put a team way we haven't been able to do it. I don't think they can get their bodies to do it because their minds are not telling their bodies. And the mind, Joe, controls the body. The biggest challenge that we had was within ourselves, you know, fighting with ourselves to try to maintain that edge. And that's been the case, basically. We've been fighting with ourselves. Time, but it hasn't been tonight. So the Trailblazers tying the series at two. Well, we had that game in hand and let it slip. That's the way we feel about it tonight, that uh, we let a great opportunity pass us by. That's the way we have to go the game they gave away. But they let them keep giving these games away, we'll take them. We found out in this playoff that it's been a roller coaster, one game up, one game down. But this team has never lacked confidence. Uh, that's been a mark of this team, being able to bounce back when a little adversity has, has hit us. Mené par Pippen et Jordan, les Bulls entament le cinquième match comme des affamés. Les fans de Portland regardent les Bulls dominer leur équipe. Bulls dismantled the Blazers. Mais un malheur frappe soudain Chicago. Malgré l'absence de leur leader, les Bulls refusent de céder. Pas question de laisser une autre chance à Portland. Portland ne peut contenir l'assaut de Chicago et les choses empirent. Avec Jordan à la finition, les Bulls triomphent et reprennent le contrôle de la finale. Ainsi que l'avantage du terrain. The defending world champions are one victory away from making it two NBA titles in a row. This is the 104th game of the year for the Bulls, including the playoffs and regular season. That's a long, long haul, and it could all end here this afternoon. As they approached game six, à l'approche du sixième match, les Bulls rêvent de gagner le trophée à domicile. Après 30 ans d'attente, de devenir le quatrième club de la NBA à remporter deux titres d'affilée et d'achever une quête personnelle qui a mis leur volonté à l'épreuve. Last year was uh, it was a honeymoon. It was a kiss of uh, you know the beloved almost. This year's has been an odyssey. It's been a journey filled with uh, travail and pitfalls, and it's been tough. It's been a real hard road. And as the game began... Dès le début du match, Chicago s'aperçoit qu'il est de nouveau en terrain miné. Pass stolen by Porter. Two on one, not a direct 
Hatchet. Rector slams it to the left side. Fighting for their play. Dos au mur. Les Blazers sont bien décidés à jouer chèrement leur peau. At their expense. This is Portland's brand of basketball. They have the tempo going in their direction. And it's all happened because of their hard work. And it's a steal by Jerome Percy. Percy, he's been everywhere. Jerome Percy with a magnificent first quarter. And he has really hurt the boss. Kersey galvanise les Blazers, tandis que les Bulls ont du mal à se mettre en route. En seconde mi-temps, les Bulls se font distancer et les Blazers s'apprêtent à donner le coup de grâce. Blazers, right now, just hammering the Bulls into submission. Chicago risque à nouveau de laisser filer un match capital. Dans 12 minutes, les Blazers reviendront à égalité dans cette finale. Et les Bulls joueront le titre sur un match. Mais comme ils l'ont fait toute la saison, ils vont trouver l'énergie nécessaire pour revenir. Well, we've been put down. We've always responded well, and when we're down, we're at our best because we have an understanding on our team that in order for us to win, um, we need each other. Chicago down by 15, start of the fourth period. And Chicago's lineup. Second team with the exception of Pippen. Hanson fires a free throw. Bobby Hanson, that's one reason he's in there. Kersey dropped the ball, got it again, and Hanson strips him of the ball. Gets it to King. King coming in and he's annihilated inside. The Bulls asking for a flagrant foul. The referee has called a flagrant foul. They'll shoot these free throws and get the ball out of bounds on the side. A tip and back in on Rexler. Third, double, triple team. Spin through it and lays it in. Oh, that was an un unbelievable shot. So the Bulls have come out and roared at the start. Comblant leur retard sur les Blazers, les Bulls réussissent un retour qui marquera l'histoire de la NBA. Touchant le trophée du droit, les Bulls sont menés à la victoire par le tandem Pippen-Jordan. Les Bulls mettent enfin un terme à leur longue course pour le titre. Right 
Cette seconde quête a été encore plus exigeante que la première. À présent, ils peuvent savourer le triomphe. Welcome to the NBA Finals. In the case of the Chicago Bulls, it's welcome back for the third year in a row. They seek, as you know, to become only the third team to win three NBA championships in succession. Each year is a different experience. The first time you're, you're thrilled to be there because you've never been there before and everything's new. Uh, last year we were just on a mission and this year you had the chance to make history. You stay focused on that and you don't get too overwhelmed by the whole situation. And the Bulls. Les Bulls ne tardent pas à joindre le geste à la parole. Good use. Start right, bounce back to Michael, he stops, fires, banker good. He get open shots against New York like this. Avec une efficacité implacable. Il domine sur tous les fronts. Surpris, les Suns n'arrivent pas à rentrer dans le match. La grande fête de la finale est terminée pour les Suns. Ils doivent sortir rapidement de leur trompeur. Malgré le retour des Suns, les Bulls comptent sur leur parfaite exécution pour contrer la hargne de Phoenix. With execution. Il domine à l'extérieur. Les Suns déconcertés ont perdu leur bel enthousiasme d'avant match. Les Bulls ont gagné une bataille, mais la guerre ne fait que commencer. They have proven that, you know, uh, so I really feel that, you know, we just take this game, pile it in with the rest, and go for another. We have learned an awful lot about how you have to come out. We've, we've learned a lot of times the hard way. Nobody has to play out of their minds, but we don't have to have anybody have the game of their lives to beat this guy. Now be satisfied with the first one. Don't let down. Don't let down. That's hard. Let's not be satisfied with the first one. Let's do this. 
play hard, play tough, play smart. We don't have to be miracle men. We just have to play our games, and if it's aggressive, it's good enough. Barkley top of the key, guarded by Grant. Pull up jumper, 18-footer, good! That's the first lead for the Sun in this series. Scotty against Dumas. Dumas took the goal. Dumas is steal. The Johnson to Dumas running in and he can. The Suns, the Suns demand the second match of force. Face to the Bulls, too long. Now let's find the rhythm. We haven't gotten the rhythm yet. Let's find a little bit of rhythm out there. The Bulls, the Bulls react with the aplomb of an equipe d'experience, who possesses also the best marker of basketball. Jordan comes out and gets the ball. Takes it inside with the left hand and scores. There you go. Now Michael, top of the key against Marley. Ball away, jumper, got it, jumping by the net. Out to Michael Jordan, done double feet. Now to Jordan, breaking to the hoop, and no look pass for Grant. He drives his chance, pretty play. Marley on a drive the other way, runs on in, he missed it. The rebound, Michael, who jerks it away from everybody. Looped ahead to Paxson, to BJ running in, to Horace, he goes up and jams it. And the Bulls have hit their last eight shots on fire. And a timeout taken by Paul Westfall. Jordan and the Bulls have dominated the match, but the Suns have to respond. I want the ball to go inside this time. They turn towards their own superstar. Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan engage in a duel for the maîtrise of the match. Now underneath, Michael fights it up, scores! With a left hand! Replicant at each exploit of Jordan, Barkley maintains the Suns at flow grâce à une volonté de faire. But Jordan is inégalable. MJ hops down the lane, the left hand layup is a beauty. Oh, what a pretty ball! Malgré la vaillance de Barkley, the Suns are always menés and courent vers une désastreuse deuxième défaite à domicile. Of a second home loss. And this crowd right now, sitting back a little bit on their seats, they are scared to death. The Suns may lose their second straight here. You have a three, crack it. Now they're desperate. They're going to three points, right? Desperate. Désespéré, mais pas vaincu, the Suns lance an ultima saut. Suns have the ball. Barkley on top. Over to Marley. Covered by George. Out to Ainge. Pop up a three. Shoots in. The Suns are not going to go down easy. This is a team that's been down all night long and somehow stayed very much in it. But with Dans un silence de mort, les Suns exhalent le dernier souffle face aux Bulls. Yes. Goes up for a three. Pippen blocks it. Pippen blocks it and makes the steal. Boy, what a sensational block by Scottie Pippen. Phoenix Suns become the first team to lose games one and two at home. The Suns looking down a real dark road right now. And the Bulls are going to head back to the Windy City with two in hand and three if needed to be played at the Chicago Stadium. As on arrivant à Chicago, the Bulls men 2 0. Ce qui paraît insurmontable. Et leurs fans confiants attendent d'eux qu'ils fassent un pas de plus vers leur but historique. Mais le match ne démarre pas comme prévu. Les Suns ne sont pas prêts à se laisser faire. And the defensive changes bothered Chicago early. He shoves a weak pass, cross court, tipped away from BJ by Dumas. He breaks away, pull another throw down, his third quick basket. The Suns have surprised the Bulls in defense. They will be surprised themselves in attack. Even themselves. Spurs up for a three. Yes! Oh, what a shot! Boy, Marley has come to life. Chicago doit alors oublier son rêve de gloire et lutter pour rester dans le match. Les deux camps étant à égalité, 
le match devient encore plus imprévisible. Dans les ultimes secondes, le match reste cruellement indécis. On se dirige vers une prolongation dans la pure tradition du basket. Ce match qu'il croyait gagner a épuisé les Bulls. Et les Suns comptent bien en tirer profit. Les Bulls, trop fatigués, laissent filer les Suns vers la victoire. Avec ce match historique, les Suns ont fait une entrée fracassante dans la finale. Quarante-huit heures après leur superbe victoire, les Suns sont toujours gonflés à bloc. En pleine confiance, les Suns démarrent au pas de charge. Mais ce match est crucial et les Bulls relèvent aussitôt le défi. Les deux équipes luttent pour prendre l'avantage. Mais Jordan fait la différence en marquant 16 points au deuxième carton. Every possession 
Marley. Marley obéit à son coach et ramène lui-même Phoenix dans le match. Don't give Dan Marley any room. En début de seconde mi-temps, les Suns espèrent reprendre aux Bulls le contrôle du match. Attaquant sans relâche, Phoenix grignote l'avance des Chicago. Une fois de plus, c'est Jordan qui fait la différence. Jordan will drive again to the hoop. Jordan, Thomas, he'll have another try at a three-point play. Either go foul him or foul him. Jordan, Jordan continue à percer la défense des Suns. Mais Phoenix reprend l'offensive. Les Suns sentent la victoire à portée de main, mais il leur faut compter avec un Jordan déterminé. Marquant un total incroyable de 55 points, Jordan donne aux Bulls un avantage de 3 à 1 et les place à une victoire de leur quête historique. An entire city sits on the edge of hysteria tonight. For the best of crowd, they're anticipating a three-peat for the Bulls. Michael, could you talk about the killer instinct in the playoffs over the last few years? There's no doubt about it. This is the night the Bulls are going to make it three NBA titles in a row. Is there any way this thing would go back to Phoenix in your mind? Well, like I said, I and I got rid of all my warm clothes, so uh, I'm not going back. We're going to fake Phoenix! They're not supposed to win, they're not expected to win, and the pressure is all on you. And that gives you that anticipation that you got to play not to lose. Don't do it that way. Go out there and seize it. If you went around the stadium right now, you would assume that this game has already been played and the Bulls have won it. It's been eight months, man. This is what it's all been working for, man. For all the guys who've never been here before, we want to make it happen for everybody. Two world championship banners hanging high above the rafters on the West End here. The Bulls want to make it free here tonight. Ce match doit faire entrer les Blues et leurs fans dans l'histoire et dans le livre des records. Ils sont déterminés à le gagner, chez eux, à Chicago. Mais les choses ne se passent pas comme prévu. Subitement, les Bulls sont mis à mal par une équipe des Suns revigorée. Ils attaquent avec l'énergie du désespoir et les Bulls restent impuissants. Ball knocked loose on the floor. Barley scrambles, throws it out back safe by Dumas. On pass to KJ. Phoenix Suns are more aggressive. They are a step quicker than the Chicago Bulls on both ends of the court. Down low on the blocks on the left side of the isolate for
Les hommes ont repris vie et les Bulls ont gâché leur moment de gloire à domicile. Peut-être même définitivement. Now we're going to the valley. Could be hot. Could be real hot. I would be lying if I said we were not disappointed because we could not accomplish the ultimate goal here in Chicago. This has to be considered one of the most disheartening losses this franchise has ever been dealt. And there will be no celebrating in Chicago tonight. It's a very, very, very disappointing loss for us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really tough to swallow. We talk about keeping our eyes on the prize and being focused. Uh, and a team with two championships, you would just think they would be a lot more focused than they've shown in this series. Right? Yeah. I, I don't understand that. The, the Chicago Bulls are in trouble. They're in trouble. Everybody better hold on. Right home. Let's go from the start. Go, Let's go. do this. What time is it? Les Bulls rassurent d'emblée l'opinion à propos de leur concentration. En ouvrant le sixième match à Phoenix avec un pilonnage à mi-distance. BJ knocks down a three from deep from the left corner there. Nice pass. You see a smart veteran Chicago team. Pippen with the stop. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. The Bulls now lead by eight. Bulls need to have this one under control right now. Redoutant une fois de plus l'élimination, les Suns tentent un retour de la dernière chance. Pippen started to move top of the key, he threw it away! Paxton broke the wrong way, Pippen threw it right into the crowd. And here comes Phoenix again. Barkley back in grab. Barkley changed his mind. We will find a way to win this game. I don't care about the ref, I don't care about the foul. If we do what we can do, we, do, we will win this game. Of defense. Bulls have a difficulty with Incredible. The Bulls can't find the basket. It's the Bulls coming at blue now. Phoenix with a chance to take the lead. They get the Marley for a three. Got it! And the Sun play for the first time. And look. Pressure. And look. Pressure. And keep going. Another excellent defensive sequence. Three out of 24. Two. One. And the clock ran out again. That's the third time. Oh, the Bulls playing scared almost like... They don't believe that they can win. Maybe the Suns are a team of destiny. Barkley backing down, Horace Grant on the right side. Kicks it out back to KJ. Looks left, dribbles right down the lane, puts up a runner, scores! They're up by four. Oh, Bulls just get out quick, out hustled by the Suns. We're going to have to see if they can respond to the challenge. That's what champions do. Wait, hey, oh, is this up? Okay, got to play smart. Smart. Oh. The Suns sensing that they have the Bulls on the ropes. It's going to be seven games. This is going to be seven games. 98-94. Suns play four. They have the basketball. Not put to Marley. Marley holds. Now to eight. Eight runs through the lane. Kicks it out back to Frank Johnson. Open for a leader. 18-footer. No. Rebound. Short. 43 seconds to go on the game. 
Imchak pushes it the other way. Here comes Short all the way to the basket. Leaves it up and in from coast to coast. Now it's a two-point game, 98-96. Barkley starts to back down. Barkley is double teamed out to Kevin Johnson, out to Marley. Marley eluding short. Frank Johnson. Back to Frank Johnson. Back to Marley. Marley. Face by jump top. Way short. Knocked and grabbed by Pippen who fell down as the clock expired. This ball's going to be Chicago ball. It's Chicago's game to win or lose. They put 14.1 seconds up. Suns lead by two. They're going to put the ball in Michael Jordan's hands. You got Michael. You keep him out of the middle. No penetration. No penetration by anybody. Michael Jordan will inbound. Waiting for BJ to come back. And Michael flips it in to BJ. Back to Michael. They want Michael to get a full head of steam. Try to keep him in the middle of the floor. Michael, 11 seconds. Across the timeline, it comes. Goes to Pippen. Pippen breaks inside. Well, Pippen got the snap. They go to Grant. The Paxson. Paxson going for the win. There's Paxson for three. Paxson. Yeah! Yeah! Hit the three. Yes! The Bulls take a one-point lead. And this round is gone. John Paxson nails a three. That's the first score by anybody other than Michael Jordan in the entire fourth quarter. What? Do you believe this? Do you believe this? If they are a team of destiny, something positive will happen right here. Looking, looking, KJ. Not pass tip, grabbed by Oliver Miller. Back to KJ. Here's Johnson. Johnson gets no, he could not get it off. Knocked away by Grant. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls three straight NBA championships. The Bulls win the championship. For the third year, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls have climbed the Mount Olympus of the NBA to the world champions of basketball. This is the Bulls. Third in a row, they are now the Trip Bulls. Oh, my. It's up to the Sonics to convince the Bulls and the basketball public that they have come here as true foes, not mere foils. Anybody want to go over anything? Andy, Bennett? The Rock. Go, 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 go. Through the door, Carolina, at guard, 6'6", Michael Jordan. Believe in yourselves, trust Big each other there. out there, and be proud of what yeah. you've done. Now go out there and be big. Go, 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 go. Here we go. What's going up? The sun. Les Sonics veulent prouver leur valeur et démarrer le match en force. force. Skips over to Kemp out on the wing. Fires over Longley. Sean Kemp with an 18 footer. The Bulls. Après une semaine sans compétition, l'attaque des Bulls est d'une maladresse inhabituelle en première période. Kemp has been unstoppable here in the early moments. Three for three. We knew that Seattle was going to come in and try to steal either one or two on our home floor. And what you want to be is sharp and ready for that. And that was our greatest worry coming in. Harris! Harris! The Chicago Bulls, it has been a long layoff. 33! Right now, their hope is that they're going to get an offensive rebound or a long rebound or a loose ball or steal. No turnovers, no rebounds. The poor shooting continues by Chicago. Rebound grab by Kemp. Outlet pass to Payton. Ahead to Johnson. Sneaks down the floor. To the glass. Lays it up and in. Sonics playing great basketball. All cylinders working right now. The Bulls. Rust is starting to set in. Block here. Everything coming up Sonics here in the early going. Let's go Bulls! Let's go Bulls! Let's go Bulls! Animés par le rage de vaincre, Les Bulls, comme durant toute l'année, parviennent à revenir. Jouant pour la première fois en finale, Ron Harper et Luke Longley engrangent les points avant de passer la main au finisseur suprême. Toujours brillant sous la pression, l'artiste Jordan transforme à nouveau la finale en prestation individuelle.
Sous la pression de Jordan et des Bulls, Seattle semble au bord du désastre. À la moitié du troisième carton, les Sonics, menés de 11 points, manquent cruellement d'inspiration. Alors qu'ils se sentaient oubliés en playoff, Tony Kukoc émerge à nouveau. Kukoc ayant marqué 10 points d'affilée, les Bulls ont à présent une avance insurmontable. Et ils s'apprêtent à conclure. So much for the nine-day layoff and the concerns of Phil Jackson and the Chicago Bulls. Three on the shot clock. Here comes Michael. Puts it on the floor. Pull up 16-footer. Put two more down for the King. He is the man. Oh, game one belongs to the Bulls. 107 to 90. Looking ahead. For the second match, the Bulls are bien decided to keep the same tempo. You're sure you're shooting rocks at the beginning of the game, except for Kemp. Hey man, make it two in a row. Let's get off a good start. Let's go, fellas. Gentlemen, early's and chases are all there. They are. Come on, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Just take your time and relax, and everything's going to work out great. Dès la mise en jeu, il est clair que les Sonics ont changé depuis le premier match. Mais les Bulls répondent coup pour coup à Seattle. Les Sonics doivent compter avec Michael Jordan, qui marque 16 points en première mi-temps. Just 
Les Sonics finissent fort, réduisant les cas à un point. Le match reste donc à prendre. Jusqu'à ce que Dennis Rodman enflamme les Bulls au troisième carton. Prenant le relais de Rodman, Kukoc marque 8 des 10 points suivants. Les Sonics luttent vaillamment. Au quatrième carton, ils réduisent le retard de 11 à 3 points. Down to three. Score it, and he's fouled by Kerr. Skips to shot in the corner, deep. Takes Longley into the paint, turns the corner, lays it up and in with the right hand. He is fouled. Sean Kemp, one on one, blows by Longley. But was Mais en fin de match, the Bulls les Bulls mènent the toujours, and Pippen et Pippen a la victoire au bout des doigts. We got two shots. So the situation, eight and nine tenths seconds remaining. Three-point Chicago lead. As you mentioned, Matt, no timeouts for Seattle. So the Bulls get back to the Seattle front court. And it's Pippen misses on both. Lockman able to get a jump ball out of it. Come on, Dennis. I'll let you get off the line. Step across. The toss, the tap. Pippen off duck three. Shrimp, and there's a foul. Well, Pippen missed two. Now Rodman missing. Only three and seven tenths seconds to go in the fourth. The Chicago Bulls to slip with the victory. The Bulls over the Sonics, 92 to 88. They've held court. Can you guys hold court free straight? That's what it comes down to. We're gonna have to go back in our building and uh, take care of business. Uh, but our backs against the walls at this point. They're filing in here at Kia Arena, a standing room only crowd to cheer their Sonics on. We're at home, it's going to be rock and roll, it's going to be loud, it's going to be crazy. Wow, shit, wow, it's bigger than flag. Gotta get one, gotta get one, gotta get one now. Sonics! Sonics! They feel more energized here at home. I think they're confident here at home. The Super Sonics hope that the energy, the hometown crowd, all of that, translates into a victory. Only two teams in the history of the NBA have been able to come back from an 0-2 deficit. You know, they got more things to worry about. They got people patting them on the back. They got a safe face on their home court. They're down 2-0. They really had all the pressure. Seattle's got to have a great start today to give these fans some hope and keep them cheering. We're on our home court. We're running all night long. We're running. I think that Seattle maybe felt like that the home court advantage was going to do it for him in that third game and uh, and we got off to a tremendous start. Tony Kukoc, Tony Kukoc joue à la place de Ron Harper blessé. So the injured Ron Harper and the Bulls, Bulls démarrent en trombe. Well, Chicago looks sluggish and slow of foot in game two. Much, much quicker here to start game three. L'assaut précoce de Chicago démoralise les Sonics. Another bad pass. 
watch the sloppy play by Seattle continues. Could be a long afternoon for George Carl's crew unless they can handle the basketball. The Bulls Venu à Seattle pour dominer, les Bulls exécutent un match parfait qui laisse le public sans voix. Silence. This is supposed to be the noisiest crowd in the NBA. The strong survive. And you use their fans as your fuel. You use their emotion as your emotion. Peyton baseline double teams. Jump pass right to Michaels. The steal by Jordan leading to the breakaway by Pippen. Oh, the Bulls are just eating up the Sonics in this opening quarter with a minute 35 remaining. It's the Bulls 32 and the Sonics 12. Sonics trying to put together field goals and start something here in the second 12 minutes. Hawkins, three on one. Payton for Perkins. He's still down. That gets the crowd going. Sean, they five and go to the rim, okay? 40 off that. Seattle tente désespérément de revenir, mais le jeu explosif de Jordan brise les forces des Sonics. To lower the Sonics boom. Don't be afraid, though, number 23. He's all right. Jordan. Yes. Oh, yeah, Mike. Defense. Defense. Where's Michael? Where is he? Doesn't see him. Back to Duco. Six. There's Michael. All the way. 15. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Good again. Michael Jordan is in another time, in another space, on another plateau. The Bulls by 18. Michael wants to make a statement. He's making it over and over again. Jordan. Les coéquipiers de Jordan se rallient à leur leader. With a dribble. Hard drive by Detlef running in on the... Yes! Got it! Oh, wow. Well, a symbolic finisher to a first half that has been just splendid for the Chicago Bulls. But as the Cependant, au début de seconde mi-temps, la défense de Seattle Bayonne Chicago. Everybody rebound and get in your chest a little bit. And again, the Sonics very aggressive defensively. They are jumping on the ball. And the Bulls now appear to be the team. Les Sonics parviennent ainsi à remonter la pente. They have cut that 24 point lead in half. 73-61. Hope is still alive at the key arena. But the Bulls... Mais les Bulls gardent leur sang froid. The three! They just cannot hit it from downtown. And it leads to this. A fast break bucket by Jordan. Ils se the distinguent the également en défense. A steal by Pippen. Kuko chased by Perkins. And look at the fans head to the action. Les Sonics sont désemparés, tandis que les Bulls contrôlent le match. À l'instar des héros habituels de l'attaque, Luke Longley apporte sa pierre à l'édifice. Seattle rush the ball, put a lot of pressure on the ball handlers, and I get good looks. I wish basketball were that simple, and sometimes it is. Les fans des Bulls voient en cette soirée une promesse d'immortalité. I think it's, it's going to be a tough task. I'm more relaxed now than I ever been. You know, maybe the 3-0 lead makes you a little bit more relaxed. Look, it's a Trina Pippen house, y'all. <laughs> this crowd's going to bring it up. They're going to be loose. They're going to be freewheeling. They're going to have everything going for them. You've got to match that intensity early on. 
Les fans des Sonics, réduits au silence au troisième match, assistent là à la renaissance de leur équipe. Pour la première fois dans cette finale, les Sonics rappellent qu'ils ont gagné 64 matchs au cours de la saison. Les Bulls sont soudain devenus de simples mortels face à Seattle, qui prend enfin les commandes. L'équipe de Chicago reste sereine. Et elle démarre très fort. Tout comme les Sonics. Les deux équipes bataillent ferme. Puis la défense des Sonics submerge les Bulls. Une fois de plus, les Bulls sont incapables de se défaire de l'emprise de Seattle. Les Sonics, eux, sont précis et rapides. Destiny had a date with the Chicago Bulls, but now it flirts with the Seattle Sonics. We didn't think we'd be back here, but we are. Now the Bulls' place alongside NBA legends doesn't seem like such a burning question. The only thing burning is the Bulls' 3-0 lead, suddenly down to 3-2. Understand game four and five, what got us success. You played together and stayed together to the point that Chicago was becoming the team that was breaking apart. Well, the champagne is still ready, guys, and that's maybe the coldest champagne in the history of sports. We were talking about the Bulls as a team for the ages. Now in Chicago, they're questioning, are the Bulls aging? Who would have thought that we would look at Michael Jordan and see what we think is a fatigue Michael Jordan? Somebody is daring to pull on Superman's cape, and that somebody has been Gary Payton. So, is tonight the night Chicago celebrates, or does Seattle push them to the brink? Have some fun out there, gentlemen, and you have fun by passing the basketball and playing your style up and down the middle. Les Sonics sont confiants, mais toute la saison, les Bulls ont su puiser dans leurs ressources. Ils ont une détermination forgée par 72 victoires. Et ce match marque l'apogée d'une saison épique. Et justement, le trois leader de la saison met les choses au point. I mean, a lot of teams cannot handle the pressure of have to go out there and do what people expect you to do. And uh, this is what this team is all about. This team won't let anything get in its way. The Bulls dominating. The Bulls d'emblée, les Bulls prennent l'avantage et ne le lâcheront pas. Oh my, what a pass! To be a part of what has happened and to have gone through this whole season with all these guys, with, you know, Uh, Scotty and Michael and Dennis. You know, what a huge thrill. I, I still can't believe sometimes that, that I've been lucky enough to, to be a part of it. Curry guns the three from the right oh, side. Stevie Kerr up over Perkins. And it almost brought rain here at the United Center. 
Comme tout au long de l'année, chaque joueur assure son rôle à la perfection. Cette victoire couronnant leur épopée, les Bulls prouvent qu'ils ont l'étoffe des super champions. It's been everything you could ask for over a basketball season, from the winning to the teammates. I've had so much fun this year. Um, I don't want it to end. Les Bulls atteignent ainsi la consécration suprême, grâce à l'inspiration que chacun des joueurs a su tirer de ses partenaires. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Chicago for the NBA World Championship Game One. It should be a dandy. Yeah, we're taking it. We're taking it. We're going to win it tonight. Trying to win one for the thumb, the fifth time in seven years, and now they go against the amazing Utah Jazz with John Stockton and Carl Malone. Slam program, game one program. You couldn't have asked for a, a better matchup, especially with Sloan's ties to Chicago. How you doing? How you doing? And it's hard to go against Michael Jordan and home court advantage, but with a subpar Scottie Pippen, I think Utah has an excellent chance to grab one of these first two games. Control Stockton, that means everybody get your eye on him. Make sure you see him where he's at on the court. They'll get the ball to him right away. This is what you worked hard for. What time is it? Game time! Move! Since the dawn of spring, the Utah Jazz have been the best basketball team in the NBA. They're ready, and there's no excuses from Utah. This series features the NBA's most valuable player and the guy who many feel should have won this year's MVP award. Relax. I'm not going to fool you. I'm not going to fool you. Relax. 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 And from the beginning... Don't les Jazz tiennent à montrer qu'ils font partie de l'élite de la NBA. On the NBA's biggest stage. That's exactly the type of ball that Utah has to play. Carmelo, right about right, but a follow-up, 15 foot, about a mailman, good! As Utah, Utah red, prend l'avantage sur les Bulls, un peu rouillé après cinq jours de répit. are off to a very shaky start. Yes, Bill Jackson, a little upset that the team didn't come out with more intensity. Comme à son habitude, c'est la défense des Bulls qui provoque l'étincelle. Same thing you get, John. But don't, I don't want to hear that. Same thing you get. 
Les Jazz s'accrochent à leur avance et ce premier match devient une bataille entre les superstars des deux équipes. Les Bulls obtiennent le soutien inattendu de Scottie Pippen, très déterminé. Les dernières minutes restent indécises et les leaders de chaque camp s'affrontent à nouveau dans une fin de match à suspense. Jackson is thinking about will it automatically be Michael Jordan. I think it'll go to Michael Jordan and then let him create. Bulls basketball and a chance to win it right here. Two coaches got the ball inbounds from Pippen and here is Michael. Four on the shot clock now. Keeps it on the dribble. Russell's there. MJ. Top of the circle against Russell. Michael hangs. Fire. Scott. If somebody asks you to name your three favorite, or the three you remember best? Uh, 1982 is easy. Uh, Cleveland is certainly easy. There's only two I can remember. I'm getting C now, I guess. <laughs> I've had so many, I can't even remember them all. <laughs> Après la déception du premier match, les Jazz veulent rebondir. Mais ce soir-là, ils tombent sur une équipe de Chicago en super forme. Malgré les assauts de Chicago, les Jazz tentent de réagir. Mais les Bulls ont toutes les réponses et parviennent à contenir Utah. Utah 
up with a Hornacek back. Playing Hornacek, stopped in the Malone in a triangle. Any hopes of Leur belle attaque étant muselée, les espoirs des Jazz s'envolent. Was completely shut down. Up top to Malone, Carl dumped inside, Russell's all alone, blocked by Pippen. It is Chicago's defense which is authoring the story here in game two. Long rejected, recovered by Anderson. Oh, no, no shot, no shot. 24 second violation. The defense has been suffocating, the Jazz can't get anything on. When you've got incredibly agile, active, long arm defenders, you can really commit to the ball. And we had guys just jump in the ball handle, Stockton or Malone or whoever it was that had the ball, and make it hard for them to get anywhere with their offers, and it stifled them. Oh, this is Chicago Bull basketball. It's all clicking now. With the bull. Les Bulls brillantissimes mettent les Jazz en déroute. By Stockton, Michael is here. MJ runs it by Russell. Michael to the top of the key, with the pip, and he goes up. Goes the great pass from MJ. Well, Finissant à une passe décisive du triple-double, Jordan fait à nouveau son spectacle en finale. Back to Michael, circles, runs inside, reverses Et les Jazz reçoivent bientôt l'estocade. Chicago up 2-0. Let's go to Salt Lake. We just got waxed tonight as a whole. And uh, now we go home. And now you go home and try to protect uh, your home court. You are witnessing history in Salt Lake City. It has never happened before. The Utah Jazz, a home team in the NBA Finals. The scene outside the Delta Center, frankly, a party. Oh, yeah! Chicago doesn't know what Windy is until the Jazz blow him away. Show me the title! I expect that crowd to be extremely loud, a little bit rowdy, and uh, ready to roll. There'll be 20,000 of them. You won't be able to hear yourself talk here. I mean, they absolutely go bananas. Not in the house! Sit down! The Bulls would love to take the three and all, and the Jazz are in a desperate situation where they need a win for sure. Get after this team early. Get your spots early in your triangle so you can operate and sell settled in. Play hard every play. But the Bulls Les plans des Bulls sont contrariés par une équipe des Jazz soudain ravigotée. Grâce à un jeu agressif, Utah revient en force dans la course. Back into the series. So Utah has come out more aggressive. Stock front court left. Stock down the middle of the ball, man. Drive, hang, score. Call it. And he's fouled. Fast break basketball for the Utah Jazz. Carl, free throw line. Jump it up. Here it will go. Utah's champion. The great Foster. The Bulls seem frustrated tonight. Foster for three. The Jazz with their biggest lead of the game. Now the Bulls beginning to unravel a little bit. We're not on the board, and I get second. The team defense is absolutely horrible. Les choses ont pire pour les Bulls, et Carl Malone accomplit là un de ses plus grands matchs. Up top, Carl Malone, fake left, go right, power to the hoop, scoop it, score it! The ball man! Malone. Malone prend le match à son compte, avec 37 points marqués. Malone, with a big time game. MVP! MVP! The champ of MVP for Carl Malone. You got it, love it, baby! You would hardly believe that this is the same team which dominated game two. It's either the altitude or they did not take the Jazz seriously. Phil, did the altitude or anything else bother Michael tonight? There is a certain factor about that. Usually the first run, these guys kind of acclimate themselves to it. But um, they're the ones that experience it. I, I was a little bit short of breath on the sideline, but not too bad. <laughs> Get the ball down there and shaped up early enough, you can keep driving this team crazy because they'll be all over the ballpark. They're just going to run around and play defense all over the ballpark. You just keep your space and keep filling in behind.
Les Bulls n'ont pas perdu leur son froid et peaufinent calmement leur stratégie pour le quatrième match. Go, Luke, go, Luke, go, Dennis. Mais d'emblée, les plans de Chicago sont bouleversés par les furieuses attaques d'Utah. Bien que les Jazz poursuivent leur assaut, les Bulls maintiennent leur stratégie. Chicago lutte pour rester au contact, puis réussit une remontée spectaculaire vers la fin du quatrième match. Ayant pris le match en main, les Bulls semblent en mesure de conclure. The Jazz away. I mean, we're up five, and uh, we wanted to put a nail in the coffin. Uh, didn't work out that way. Once again, les Jazz tenaces contrarient à nouveau les plans des Bulls. Le retour des Jazz surprend les champions, d'ordinaire imperturbable. Jordan outside with Russell there, fires the three, no, rattles out, Utah's gonna win this baby, this baby's over, Utah has won game four, and this series is deadlocked at two victories apiece. I mean, we came here to try to get one game, and that's still there ahead of us, so it's definitely the pivotal game of this series, and We feel like we still have opportunity to go up. La confiance des Bulls laisse place à l'inquiétude à l'annonce d'une terrible nouvelle, peu avant le cinquième match. Now the big story here tonight concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. His status is uncertain. This is Carl Malone's night. He has to show the world just how great a player he is. Marv, the Jazz, they have to win the night if their dream is going to come true. The bad news for the Bulls, the stomach virus that has hit Michael Jordan, and you wonder just how much, how long, and how hard he'll be able to go. Never in the history of the NBA, since they've gone to the 2-3-2 format, has the home team been all three of the game. Jordan est souffrant, mais les Bulls doivent pénétrer dans l'antre du Lion face au puissant Jazz, au MVP et à une foule survoltée. Stockton, looking, whipped inside, Malone goes up, counts, and a foul. And early on, Et les craintes Chicago de Chicago se confirment dès que les fauves d'Utah sont lâchés. Everything clicking right now for Utah. Penetrate, he moved that pass, knocked away, but Malone runs it down with a good hustle, and it's a big one, a slam. This is an embarrassment for Chicago. The rebound, Steve Kerr. 
Burr. I had to Tony and he threw it away. Two coaches never saw it coming. This is going to be a blowout. Les choses se gâtent pour Chicago, quand les Jazz ont déjà 16 points d'avance au deuxième carton. But if you let this get any more out of reach now, that you're at a point where, especially with Michael Ailing, you're in danger of putting yourself in a position where you, you have no chance to win the game. Jump to Michael, MJ. Against Russell to the free throw line. Hangs in the air. Jumper good. Oh, shot. Nothing but net for Michael. Bien qu'affaibli, Jordan maintient vaillamment son équipe dans la course. And Jordan with 12 of his 16 points here in the second quarter. And the steal by Jordan. Behind the back on Russell. He turned it around. And finished to Pippen. Les Bulls peuvent-ils encore rester au contact dans ces conditions Les Jazz apportent la réponse peu avant la mi-temps. Sometimes you carry the fight to them, but you just don't have enough energy. Michael still doesn't feel very well. The Bulls need other guys to step in and step up. Utah just playing unflustered basketball. No matter what you do to them, they run right back at you. En seconde mi-temps, Jordan, épuisé, maintient malgré tout les Bulls dans le match. MJ, Michael, for three, come on! Yes, sir! MJ and Trey and... Ce cinquième match se transforme en bataille aux deux extrémités du terrain. This is where Utah has been great for the game. Close. Shot clock at four. Morris. Yeah. Here at the Delta Center. Here is Jordan. Outside. Chicago down three. Puts it down. Drives the lane. A running eight footer. Yes. And it's a one point Utah lead. Michael Jordan incredible. Dans les dernières minutes de ce match décisif, les Jazz semblent à nouveau en mesure de prendre l'avantage. MJ, this will be the guttiest performance maybe all time. And all eyes here are going to be on Michael Jordan. And on top, Pippen wants it. Wants to go on Harnesek. Demanded the ball. Back Michael. Open three. Yes! Oh. They lead it. 38 points for the King. Oh. Duck a dagger at him with a three. Yes! Les trois points dévastateurs de Jordan sonnent la défaite des Jazz et concluent l'une des performances les plus mémorables de la NBA. NBA history. You know, no matter how sick I was, or how tired I was, or how, you know, low on energy I was, I felt the obligation, you know, to my team, to the city of Chicago, to go out and give that extra effort. Tonight, the curtain drops as the greatest show on earth performs for the last time. The drive for five will end right where it started as the Bulls will be crowned kings of the hill once again. You got enough to end it tonight? I do. I hope everybody else does too. They want to get this done tonight. They don't want to have to go to a game seven where almost anything 
can happen. First of all, I think you all know we're anxious about this game. This game in which we're all a little nervous about going out and performing well and doing the right thing. We don't plan on just going out. Not quietly, not easily. So you can guarantee it's going to be a war tonight. Don't think about anything but the play ahead. The next play, the play you're in, your mind and focus. If the Bulls could win the title tonight, Chicago would become the third franchise to win five titles in a decade. The greatest athlete of our time hopes tonight is a coronation of the greatest dynasty the NBA has seen in three decades. Pourtant, les Jazz sont décidés à entrer eux aussi dans l'histoire et à ne pas laisser toute la gloire aux Bulls. Chicago starting slowly and Utah is taking advantage of that. Here they come. Utah in a hurry. The Bulls kind of stood around. Hold a sec. Well, yes. Look out, Chicago. It's not going to be easy wrapping it up tonight. The Bulls have not answered the challenge. Beautiful ball oh, movement. They call Malone shoots the left. Jordan refuse que son équipe perde son sang-froid. Au second carton, malgré 10 points de retard, il commence à redresser la barre. Now Jordan trying to go to work on Russell, and he's got it. Bulls seem to have a little more energy right now, starting to find a little bit of rhythm on the defensive end. Foster firing and missed it badly in the rebound. Brian Williams whipped ahead to Pippen. He'll cook the ball. Great look up the court by Brian Williams. United center is rocking. The Bulls making a run. Back to Michael. MJ hangs, fires, scores! Yeah, bring it! The Jazz. Les Jazz répondent coup pour coup à Chicago. With one of their own. Utah tenacious, not giving up that lead. Compton with the beautiful ball to beat. Biggest lead of game six. It's a 10-point advantage for the Utah Jazz. In the waning... En fin de troisième carton, Utah refuse toujours de céder l'avantage. Voyant le match leur échapper, les Bulls et leur leader doivent se remotiver mentalement. From day one, uh, you want to end up playing in June and winning a championship. And it's a lot of bumps in the road. So we understand what it takes to get to this level. By no means do we want to give this up to win championships. This is a dream. Now, the dream is, is to sustain this as long as you're still playing the game of basketball. And with you... Imitant leur leader, les Bulls retrouvent leur determination de grand champion. The rebound back tapped out of there and Bushler has it. John for three. Bushler has to fire it. Mais les Jazz ne cèdent pas. Et comme dans les matchs précédents, ils obligent Chicago à se surpasser. Les deux équipes étant à égalité, la finale se joue dans les dernières secondes sur un panier d'ontologie. Anybody but Michael Jordan takes a shot. It is Michael Jordan time. Scotty Pippen looking, looking for Michael Jordan. Michael, six, seven, five. Michael in traffic to Kerr. 15 moves. Russell to inbound, looking, 
Look it, look it. Skip the cross. Skip the steal. Scottish saves it to Tony. He runs oh, over to get it. misconceptions about what actually happened. I wanted to clear it up. When we called timeout with 25 seconds to go, we, we went into the huddle and Phil told Michael, he said, Michael, I want you to take the last shot. And Michael said, you know, Phil, I don't feel real comfortable in these situations. So maybe we ought to go in another direction. And then Scotty came in and said, you know, Phil, Michael said in his commercial that, you know, he's been asked to do this 26 times and he's failed. So, why don't we go to Steve? So I thought to myself, well, I guess I got to bail Michael out again. <laughs> oh, beautiful. But I've been carrying him all year, so, you know, what's, what's one more time? Hopefully, come 1998, you guys can go out and celebrate and go back to every city and say we won number six. Hopefully, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. 